Ole Miss soccer fans, we are through the spring season. That's why I'm sitting here with the boss man, Matt Mott, catching up on the season that was. Coach, how did the spring season go for your group? It was good, very good. I felt like um, we came into the spring with a pretty veteran group, really. Um, you know, everybody that had returned that was kind of healthy and playing had at least started a game uh, at some point during their career. So uh, we had a, a, a definitely a veteran group, and I thought we really attacked it. You know, it springs about development and making the players each individually better and trying to come together some as a team, and I think we hit both of those. You talk about a veteran group. I mean, two years ago, the chunk of your team were freshmen. Now they've all grown up, got a handful of seniors now who have made big impacts for this team. The freshmen who played last year got some big minutes under their belt. Now they're sophomores. How's that going to help as you guys move on to 2019? I think it's huge. I think, um, yeah, you look at the core group now are, are kind of juniors and seniors. And um, when you're, you're talking about Grace Johnson and Channing Foster and Chanel and even, you know, Sid Michael Act and Sophie and all those guys, Mass and Pizzino, I mean, the list goes on and on and on, are, are now juniors. And, and they're going to be players that we kind of count on. And, and it's important. I think we have a good senior class too. And so when you when you start to have a veteran team, um, that's where I think you're able to win at a high level. The first time in a while, you won't have Marnie back there mm -hmm. in goal. So how has the spring helped your keepers get better? Yeah, um, you know, they needed some time, certainly. And Claire played all of the games. Right. because actually Ashley's transferred in and, and is ineligible to play at this point. But um, she'll be in for the, the fall. And, and I think we have two good ones and we have a good one in the freshman coming in. So. Our goalkeeping will be strong again. We, we pride ourselves in our goalkeeping, and I'm really comfortable with Claire and Ashley as, as we go into the fall, and then certainly adding one in, the, in, the, uh, in August. I know you're always excited around this time to announce captains for your mm -hmm. team. You've got three of them this year. Tell us who they are and what they'll represent for your program. Yeah, Gabby Little is back returning captain from last year. She did a great job really all spring. She was unanimous pick um, for our team and our staff when we, we looked to vote. And, and do those things and then um, we've added Julia Phillips who is a senior uh, transferred in a couple years ago and she's just been really rock solid for us and in everything that she does. I tell people you know I, I want her in my foxhole you know she's that type of person you can count on you can rely on her really really important and then Grace Johnson who's our leader in the back um, is our third one she's you know rising junior so um, it's she's she's one that's going to grow into it I think a bit but certainly again the the team and the staff really rely on her in the back and rely on her to lead us and she's been great so the three of them together I think it's a great group and I think they'll do an excellent job for us. Back to back tournament appearances three of the last four seasons is starting to become an expectation a standard for this program which is a good thing but yeah. what's the next step for this group? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, we're proud of that, sure, but we want to keep going. You know, we want to deliver a championship here to, to Ole Miss, an, an SEC title, and we want to continue to advance in the NCAA and, and get deep into a deep run. We had a deep run a few years ago, and we want to get back to that standard. I think these girls are focused on that. They understand the importance of, of what we do and, and how, um, you know, we're ready really to compete. You know, we finished tied for third last year in the SEC, and we want to kind of grow on that as well. So. It's a good group coming back, and I think this spring really helped us come together as a, as a team. And, and a lot of things we did on and off the field um, to get them ready. We, we add, you know, ten new ones, um, which is, is pretty exciting um, to make it a, a team of 26. And I think, um, you know, the sky's the limit for this group for sure. Well, we're excited as well, Coach. And the season's going to be here in no time. Thank you for sitting down with us today. No problem. Thank you, Seth.